Hi, I'm Todd Harrison, Director of the Aerospace Security Project at CSIS. On Friday, May 15th, NASA announced a new initiative known as the Artemis Accords for establishing partnerships with other nations to go back to the moon. The Artemis Accords are a set of bilateral agreements between the United States and partner nations for how they will work together safely and cooperatively on and around the moon. There are several key principles in the Artemis Accords, many of which reaffirm the tenets of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, such as the requirement that all activities be conducted for peaceful purposes. It requires partners in the Accords to protect space heritage sites, such as the Apollo landing sites on the Moon, and it creates new norms around scientific data sharing and the creation of international standards for technical interoperability in cislunar space. It also stipulates that nations can mine and extract resources from the moon, but they cannot claim sovereignty or territory in full support of the Outer Space Treaty. Some of the most important principles in the Accords are those designed to help establish and encourage norms of behavior in space. For example, the Accords call on partner nations to join other existing space agreements, such as the Registration Convention, that requires nations to register objects launched into outer space in a timely manner and the long-term space sustainability guidelines that help prevent the creation of space debris. These norms can promote greater cooperation in space and can ultimately help improve security and cooperation here on Earth. Perhaps the most important guiding principle not explicitly stated in the Accords is that it is not enough for the United States to lead in space technology. It must also be a world leader in space policy, helping to define and establish the rules of the road for how nations will work together in this domain. For more information on our space-related work, visit aerospace.csis.org.